everyone. The third eye is taking you to see the world. Starting from 2020, disasters have continued, and life is not easy, especially in China. As Asian prophet Liu Bowen predicted that the year 2020 was only the beginning, the world would suffer many disasters, such as pandemic, floods, famines, wars, until end of year 2025. Disaster will end after year 2026. People who can survive the catastrophe safely will enter new universe, new civilization, and have a beautiful and happy life. Liu Bowen's prophecy also told people the way how to survive, which is truthfulness, compassion, tolerance. No long after the celebration of the Communist Party of China on July the first, Tianjin, which is close to Beijing, China, had a very strange cloud. Those dark clouds in the sky are like the face of demons, fierce and wicked. On July the fifth, many netizens in Tianjin, China, photographed many images of ugly and terrifying clouds in the sky of Tianjin City. They are looked like hell. Netizens shared their photos on Weibo and went on a hot search. An image of a demon face appeared in the cloud, and many netizens said that it was too scary. This image of the demon face is clearer and creepy, and the others are very horrible as well, like hell. Netizens in mainland China shared their comments. Oh my God! It looks like the gate of hell is open. Someone said, "There must be some catastrophe today." Others said, "There's a demon wind in the sky." Tianjin is just next to Beijing. Does the appearance of this wild and terrifying hell cloud warn something from the heaven? On June thirtieth. The strange phenomenon of flying snow in June appeared in Xinxiang, Henan Province, China. After heavy storms, rain, and hail, suddenly heavy snow fell in Xinxiang City, Henan Province. Netizens commented that this was an anger and a grievance caused by CCP. On night of June 30, severe weather such as hail, strong winds. And thunderstorms occurred in many places in Beijing, according to news from the Beijing Meteorological Observatory on the night of June 30. Thunderstorms appeared in many places in Beijing. Among them, Haidian and Mengtougou had hail. This was the second severe weather in Beijing in a week. On the evening of June 25, there was gusty showers in many areas of Beijing. And even hail, according to pictures shared by netizens on social media, some of hail was as big as an egg, and some looked like coronavirus. Netizens exclaimed, "Is this hail on murder weapons?" From 19th to 20th July. Record-breaking rainfall ravaged Zhengzhou, Henan Province, and other places in China, causing severe floods. Weather authorities in Zhengzhou say the rainfall was the highest since record-keeping. The amount of rainfall was seen only once in a thousand years, as local media cited. During the heavy rainfall, netizens kept sending out messages for help, shared emergency videos and photos. Videos shared on the social media showed that the streets in Zhengzhou have been turned into torrents. Thousands of cars and vehicles immersed in water. Some were swept away. Some drivers trapped in the cars were swept with the cars together. So far, nobody knew how many people were washed away by the flood. A video showed the flood in a street swept a child. His father tried to save the child. Were ups and downs together with child in the flood, until quickly disappeared from people's sight. 
supplied the water poured into underground tunnels and the Line Five subway. Thousands of passengers were trapped in the carriages. The water reached the people's chests and even to their heads at some places. People kept sending out for help messages. Some people had been rescued, but some lying on the platform. Who had stopped the breathings? According to Zhengzhou authorities, on July 21st, more than 500 passengers were evacuated from the inundated subway line, with 12 killed and five others injured. By July 22nd, the Chinese regime announced that 33 people had died from the flooding, with eight missing. Meanwhile, Chinese netizens have taken to social media demanding the regime reveal the true death toll. Tuesday Road Company, a Hong Kong-based independent media channel, reported that Zhengzhou officials immensely concealed the death toll. The video suggests that the actual death toll in Henan is incomparable to the numbers released by the authorities. The flooding of power supply system cut off many parts of the city, including the first affiliated hospital of Zhengzhou University. Often referred to as the largest hospital in the world, people said more than 10,000 patients, adults, and children trapped in the outpatient building had no electric power, no water, no food. For patients who need oxygen, medical staffs resorted to artificial oxygen supply airbags. On 20th July, messages shared on WeChat many believe. That the upstream reservoir's flood release has aggravated the flood water levels in Zhengzhou. It's not the first time that the China authorities discharge the flood without notice, and cause large amount of people to be dead and homeless. The most well-known is the Banqiao Reservoir Dam in Henan Province, filled on August 8, 1975, caused more casualties than any other dam failure in history, at estimated 230,000 deaths and 11 million displaced. The Banqiao Dam failure was rated number one in the automated tank technological disaster of the world by Discovery Channel. Outranking the Chernobyl nuclear disaster. On July 18, Beijing issued an orange warning of heavy rain. Heavy rainfall in the mountains areas has caused many landslides in Beijing and blocked the roads. Affected by the heavy rains, many areas in Beijing were flooded. Cars immersed in water. The Jing'anqiao subway station suffered severe flooding and had to be closed. Many trains were suspended and flights were cancelled in Beijing. A netizen asked for help on Weibo that her sister took the KAA6 train from Lanzhou to Tianjin at 8 p.m. on the 16th. It should have arrived in Tianjin at 2 p.m. on the 17th, but now it stopped on the way and cannot enter Beijing. It has been stuck on the way for more than 20 hours, and the train is still parked in the mountains without food. So she had to ask for help. Some netizens responded, "My train is 20:37 on the 17th, and as a result, I haven't left Beijing yet." Yixian County, Hebei Province, also experienced the most heavy flood in the past 60 years since 1963. Which caused mountain torrents, rushing, and the Yihezhuang Bridge was broken. In addition, heavy rains occurred in Inner Mongolia, Heilongjiang, Henan, and Yunnan, Anhui Province in China. The above are the floods that have occurred in China in the past few days. Nobody knows if the floods will be more severe. In this special period, we wish all are safe and healthy. Could pass to a beautiful and happy future together. The third eye is taking you to see the world. That's all for today's topic. We will share you more interesting topics in next videos. Thank you for your share, subscribe, and likes. If you have any comments, please leave your message below.